Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to edit car reels with basic steps in After Effects. First step, setting markers on a beat drop. Select music layer and press L twice on your keyboard. This is the first beat, we'll set a first marker there. Now let's play the video to find the next one and set keyframes on every beat drop. Here was the second one, I will set marker here as well. Do the same process till the end of your music. I will skip this one and let's jump to effects. Second step, speed ramping. Right click on the video, go to time and enable time remapping. Create a keyframe at the start of the video. Then go to the end of the clip and set a new keyframe there. Now move the second keyframe to the marker where the first beat drop is. Cut the rest of the clip what's after the keyframe. Now select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Now go to Graph Editor. Right click there and select Edit Value Graph. Now make a smooth curve like this. Enable Frame Blending. Press there twice until you see an arrow. Awesome! Do the same speed ramping to all of the clips. And let's jump to another effect. Third step, Car Slam Effect. Duplicate the layer, and pre-compose it. Make sure to select Move All Attributes into the New Composition and checkbox Adjust Composition Duration, then click on OK. At the very beginning of this clip, right-click on it, go to Time and select Freeze Frame. Now move this layer to the moment from where you want a car slam to start, and cut this layer at the moment where the actual video starts like this. Now grab the Roto Brush tool and make sure Preview Quality is set to Full and double-click on the Freeze layer, make a nice selection of the car to isolate it. As you finish selecting the car, press Freeze button. Go back to Composition. At the very end of Roto Brushed Layer press P on your keyboard and set a keyframe for position. Now go to very start of the layer and change position until it goes out of frames. Enable Motion Blur on that layer. To smooth the motion, select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Now go to Graph Editor. Right click there and select Edit Speed Graph. Now make a smooth curve like this, or you can play around until you will be happy. Fourth step, Bubble Effect. Duplicate the layer, right click and pre-compose it. Rename, Car Only. Now select the Roto Brush tool and make a nice selection over the car. As you finish selecting, press space bar on your keyboard and check if the selection is following the car. If there is any issue stop there, go to moment where it started and correct the selection. Press space bar again, Roto will be selected perfectly after you're corrected. Once you have finished selecting and correcting, press freeze button. Go back to Composition and duplicate Roto Brushed Layer. Select the middle one and add Turbulent Displace effect. Change Displacement to Turbulent Smoother. Set Amount to 130. Change Size to 10. Change Complexity to 7. Now while pressing and holding Alt button, click on Evolution Stopwatch icon. Type there, Time 250. This will animate turbulent displace. Go a few frames forward. Set there a keyframe from amount. Now go to very beginning of the clip and change amount to zero. As you play back the video, bubble effect will come into the video slowly. Press P on your keyboard and create a keyframe for position at the beginning of the video. Press U on the keyboard to see all keyframes and go to the moment where we have created a keyframe for turbulent displace and change their position, move it up a bit. Now go to the end of the clip, copy and paste there all of the first keyframes. Now copy all of the other keyframes and paste it near to the end like in this video. Select all keyframes for position and press F9. Go to graph editor and make a curve like in the video or play around until you will be happy. Fifth step, shakes on a beat drop. First of all, if you have two or three layers of the same clip, for example if it is roto brushed, then select all the clips and pre-compose them into one layer. Add twitch effect to the clip. 
Go near to the end and click on stopwatch icon to create a keyframe for amount, set amount to zero. Change speed to 70. Open enable and select, light and slide. Now go to very end of the clip and change amount to 40. At beat drops it has shakes now and that's looks amazing. Add twitch to the next video, but this time we will need to create keyframes at the beginning of the clip and at the end of the clip. At the beginning of the clip set amount value to 40 and create a keyframe. Set speed to 70. And enable, light and slide. Now go a few frames forward and set amount to 0. Do the same to all of your clips where you want to add shakes. And finally at the end, apply a CC force motion blur to all of your clips with speed ramp. This will add motion blur. This was a basic steps of how to edit car reels easy and fast. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.